you join me here in Felixstowe, Suffolk. This weekend I shall be checking out the Suffolk Coastal Path, heading 50 miles in that direction, hopefully getting to Lower Stoft, finish point. Come join me, let's do this. So I've just left uh, Felixstowe at the northern tip of it now. That's the view out to the sea. Up this way I shall soon be at Old Felixstowe. Got a Martello Tower there. Got a few of those I'm going to go past today on this section. Old Felixstowe Golf Course. But I'm going to crack on. I've got a ferry to catch. Do love a little ferry crossing. Do you reckon that might go inside there? Yeah, it's something that must go inside. Well, I can That's remember beautiful. him telling me on the phone that you have to cut them two wires and put the terminal on each end and push on them down. Okay, yeah. They've got it fixed. We're going again. Here we go. £3 single, £5 return. Not too shabby. Quite a strong current to this river, I tell you. Oh yeah. Well, that was a bit hairy. As soon as I got on that ferry, bloody thing broke down. So the old skipper had to call the A-team. They came down after 20 minutes. They managed to get it going again, so happy days. So I've left old Felixstowe. I'm now in Bordsey. Managed to score myself a uh, coffee, a little cafe. I don't know if anyone's here. Right. Someone up there. <laughs> but that's it now, so for the rest of the stretch, uncharted territory, never been here before. Um, no, no other big villages to go through, I don't think, so uh, I've got plenty of water, plenty of snacks to keep me going. It's about half four, so I'm probably going to crack on for a good three hours, get some miles in. It's a long one, this 50 50. Well, again, it depends. One app says it's 55 miles, one says it's 60. No idea. It's going to keep going. Weather forecast is good. So, according to this, we've got a bit of a closure, which is why I've had to come inland, I'm guessing. So, I've got about another, about another mile into the village of Bordsey before I then hit the coast again. All sorts of crazy information. No access to beach due to erosion. So this is the trouble with this route. I've downloaded it onto two different apps, uh, View Ranger and uh, Maps Me. They're both completely different routes. Uh, one's about 60 miles long, one is about 52 miles long. So don't know which way to go really. Got to blag it I guess. Part of the fun though, you know, reassuring. They're the ones I'm following, look, Suffolk Coastal Path. So it looks like I'm down here. I can see a Martello Tower right in the distance. And one just there. Pretty cool are uh, Martello Towers. I never really took much notice of them when I was younger. Quick Google last night. Turns out they were built in the 1800s by the British Empire, fearing the attack from uh, Napoleon. I think there's about 100 scattered around in England. Three stories high. At the top was where they'd have the big old cannons. In the middle was the living quarters. And on the ground level was where all the uh, artillery was kept. Originally designed by an Italian bloke, actually. Um, and they first built them in the mid 1500s. So it seemed to took us uh, 300 years to cotton on. And I believe it wasn't before too long, they were pretty much obsolete uh, due to the advancements in uh, rifles and guns and weaponry and all that sort of stuff. So. <clears throat> Nowadays, of course, they're sold and they're, they've been turned into houses. One over here, I think it's this one with a nice roof. Over there in the distance. That one over there sold for 1.25 million this year or last year. Crazy money. 
So I'm just coming back onto the coast now. So here, World War II bunkers. Pretty cool. Let's go in. Oh, bloody hell. Bit of flooding down there, look. Spooky. I'll be here on a dark night. So I've just come along to the other end and it seems that tunnel, the flooded one, runs the whole way. So in a couple of miles time, I'll hit an area called Shingle Street. And after that, it's all marshland for bloody miles. And I've got a pitch up somewhere. Don't know where. When I find it, I'll know it's right. And I'll whack it up. So just ahead of me now is that Martello Tower that sold for 1.25 million. There we have it there, look. You can view it online. There's pictures, it looks amazing. Spent some money on it. Mazda MX-5, look on the driveway. Been going for about two hours now. Now coming into a little area called uh, Shingle Street, I think it's called. Find a little bench and have a 10 minute rest, I think. Take my shoes off, rest my little pinkies. Got a little cheeky uh, drink in my rucksack I'm gonna have. So far, so good. Suffolk Coastal Path. Hell yeah. Welcome to Shingle Street. Library. I hate it's walking on bloody shingle. But check this out. All this look. All bloody white shells. Isn't that fantastic, look at that. As far as the eye can see. Random, but I love it. Got the old flag going, look. Oh, bloody Shingle Street. <laughs> Seven miles in, resting the pinkies. Happy days. Oh, beautiful. Out into the open now, just how I like it, it's lovely. No one around, I've got eight miles until I get to the next village, but I think another three miles and I'll probably pitch up. This is uh, Bartholomew's Creek or something, I don't know. But yeah, no one around. It's lovely, look at it. Wind has died down typically, but I'm gonna try John. Find somewhere to pitch up, it's lovely. Oh, my favourite time of day, look at it. In me element right now, phone on flight mode, switched off from the real world. This is my real world at the moment, loving it. Tunes on, beautiful. Oh, come on.
History lesson time. Peel box. Here it is, look. Between July and September 1940, 55th Division engineers supervised the construction of 633 pillboxes in Suffolk. Mental. Look at that. Oh. Shit, eh? Ooh. Why don't they clean these bloody things up, look? That smells too bad, but... Bird's nest. Oh. Oh. So there's one back there, one here, look. You can see them scattered along this, where I'm heading. Sweet. Getting on for half seven, so I'm gonna start looking for somewhere to pitch up, I think. Bugs are starting to come out. Temps has dropped a little bit, but now it's been lovely. All by myself, I haven't seen anyone. Nice little flatty bit of grass I'd like now. Get pitched up, get some grub down me. Egg and bacon sarni to look forward to. One more cheeky beer. Look at it. Stunning. Over there in the distance, this won't pick it up, don't know why I'm saying it, but you've got a couple of churches there. That might be Oldborough, which is tomorrow. Just check my map, ignore that. That's Orford over there. And this is the River Ore. All set up, I've got a quality pitch, check it out. So I stumbled across this uh, random building, look. Pitched up. Little group over there having a barbecue, got chatting with them. <laughs> and this group of five lads all rocked up. Huge tent, got some music blaring. Cases and cases of beers. I think they're here for the weekend. Huge, look at that look. <laughs> So yeah, could be an interesting night. No, I think they're all right. Hey, no, hey, hey.